guys, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. It's DIY time again, and today we're gonna to be making these really cute and very easy message cards. So let's get started. To make these message cards, go to my website at drawsocute.com and print out these um, free templates that I've provided for you. Um, there are two pages, and if you can, print it out on a um, stock paper just so that the message cards are nice and stiff when you color and fold them. But regular paper is fine too. So there's two pages because I've provided you three animals and I've also provided you a template where you can draw your own animal for yourself. If you don't have a printer, it's not a problem at all. This right here, this rectangle right here is three inches by four inches long. So all you need to do if you don't have a printer is just make this rectangle and add your own head and the arms right here. Today I'll be working on this little monkey right here to show you guys how to make this message card. And so the first step is to color this and to color this optional card cover. And the reason I say it's optional is because if you're gonna be using markers to write or color in here, depending how thick your paper is, it might bleed through. And so this piece right here is just to cover the front so that you won't see the marker coming through. Now that it's all colored and decorated, I'm going to go ahead and cut this part out and also this one right here. So now that it's all cut out, the next step is to take this card right here and flip it over. And you're now you're going to have to color the arms right here with whatever color you colored it on the inside. So I'm just going to come here and if you have a straight edge, it just makes it a lot easier to um, color it straight down the line right here for the arms and just color it in. So it's because we, uh, I know a lot of you, even I can't um, print double-sided. So that's why we're gonna have to come in here and flip it over and color this part in like this. So you can do this freehand, just go all straight down, or you can use a ruler and just color this in. So make sure you have a piece of paper just like me under it so you don't get your, um, table full of markers. I mean, marker ink. <laughs> okay, so then there, I've got this part colored in. Now the next step is to um, take this, flip it back over. Well, so as you can see, I'm just gonna come back here and color this again, because it bled through and I think I need a one more layer of marker. Okay, so there, got it all colored in there. So then um, next, this next step is to just take this card right here and fold it. It's that easy. Just fold it right in half and meet it to the top right there and push down right here in the center. So as you can see, because I used marker, um, it bled through the paper because my stock paper is not that thick. And so this doesn't look as good. And that's why I have this piece right here that you can cut out and you just glue it right on top and it becomes a nice finished look. So my glue right here, because I used the glitter glue, it's not quite dried yet. And so that's why I'm gonna have to just try to speed this up and I'm gonna hold my glue like this and put some glue on the back just to show you 
what you need to do next. Okay, so basically take this piece right here and to make it easier, you can just flip it open and just glue it to the edge right here. To the front of your message card. And that's it, basically. And then the next step after that is just to fold the arms in. So take your arms right here and just fold them in. Uh, and you're done, ta-da! <laughs> Pretty cute, right? So I wanted to show you all the um, animal message cards that I made for you guys today. And make sure to go to my website at drawsecute.com and print out the free templates. So this is the little monkey one that I uh, made for you guys today. This is my cute little panda, and this is done the same way. I just went ahead and colored it green, um, that little card, and I made the heart red, of course. But the inside is exactly the same. I just colored in the hearts right there and cut it out. So I think this project is so, um, it's really simple, really easy. The only, the hardest part I think, the most tedious part is just cutting it out. So um, even if you ha make a mistake cutting it out, it's not as perfect, don't worry. You can always um, go in with a Sharpie marker and just fill in the spots that weren't cut as nicely. And so this one right here is the little pug. Many of you have probably seen my pug drawing that I posted lately. I hope you love it. This one was done a little differently because I wanted to show you the different options. So instead of printing out that card and um, coloring it, this is basically just a piece of blue paper that I cut out and glued on. And instead of um, the heart, of course, I just made a little, uh, drew a little bone and colored it and just glued it on because I think this little pug needs a bone. <laughs> and so right there, it's the same exact thing. So when you color the heads, just end it right there at this nice straight line so that you have this nice white card inside. And that's it for these uh, cute little animal message cards. Please let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And of course, there's that option where you can draw your own too. So make sure to go to my website, drawsecute.com and download this free template. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this uh, very easy and cute uh, DIY project. And if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.